Bivouac has found a, a, a nice rhythm of how they want to play. You see it start the game off with a little bit of cross screen, straight to an ISO, trying to use his limb over oh, Frank Nitty. Right here, Dante Green. Saw him in the open, takes his time, goes over the top, he misses. Nitty, one of the best rebounding guards in the league. Knocks down a three, that could be trouble. Nitty's knocking down threes. If he gets it going, <laughs> you know, he can put up a lot of buckets. Garland Green. Step back. Garland is a solid player. Can shoot the ball. Puts it on the floor, gets to the rim. One thing about he doesn't get tired. That's look, he, look, he, look competes, he, he, he competes. He's always in shape. The whole I mean he's and I think there's a lot to be said about that in this league. Oh, green battling. Here's Brewer. Goes up with the left. Finishes. So quick. Very agile. I had the pleasure of coaching him when I was in Minnesota. One of my favorite players. Brewer gets it back. Tacks again. Keeps it in bounds. Nobody says it's a sideline. Or the baseline. A little bit out of control. All right, Nitty's going to take the ball out on the baseline. Goes up to Green. There's Green. Turns it over. Javier Carter gets it back. Moves it. Swing, swing. Carlin Green, aggressive. Carter again, moves it. Brewer, three. Short. Rebound, Nitty. Larry Payton pleading. That's good basketball. He likes what he saw. Nitty. Jumper. Off. All three of the games we've done so far, they've all been grinded down games. Brewer in the post. Inside. Over the top. No good. But gets the rebound. Garland Green for three. Follows his shot. Javier Carter picks it up. Carter in the corner. Yes. He's underrated. Yeah. He, he, extra possessions. Yeah, he, he gets you extra possessions. He can defend the rim. He holds his ground. He moves the ball. He's a perfect fit for this team. Powell. That's automatic. Got to take advantage of every opportunity. People forget the game's a 50. It goes fast. Mm -hmm. It does. Post up Nitty. Brewer inside. Goes up. Oh, tough shot. Good defense. So that's four opportunities he's had at inside the paint against Nitty. He's made one. That's a that's a theme for him. I'm sure they've talked about that. Yeah, it does seem like they're they have an emphasis like what you were talking about, just going to the paint. That's the right. second three by Frank Nitty. Now, you know. Corey Brewer has always been known to be a def good defensive player, but Frank's got a, a bag and a half, so. Oh, man, Garland Green with a move. <laughs> Dante Green used to be a small forward. He's more like a power, power forward now. All right, here's Brewer inside. See, when you, when you look at what he's looking at, he's looking at his size, he's looking at his length. Maybe he's trying to use his body, just like you saw right there. A foul outside before the ball comes in. That's a. He's looking over the top. See him get eye contact. Look at over top. That that play happened before he, before he even took the ball out of bounds. Yeah, you're right. Frank Diddy was talking to the official. They made eye contact, yeah, and they, that was it. You saw it. You, you know, I both saw it. Eye contact's everything. Yeah, and three on three, no weak side help on that one. There's Green up top. So many Nitty. times. So good going to his right, gets the contact, oh! it's a foul. Now he's explosive. Yeah. Nitty's got a lot in his bag. You got to wall up. You can't jump. Even if you if, if you wall up and made him shoot, shoot over high hands, you're still going to be okay. You don't want to get a foul early in the game. Going to save those for the second half. All right, Garland Green rises up, he's short, follows his shot, hits Brewer, Garland Green stays in bounds. They're playing two on three, Green makes it. Nice job, good patience.
That's patience, it's power, playing smart. But you look at this team, they're all about six foot five, six foot seven. They're all the same kind of player. Well, that means they can switch with no issues. They don't lose anything when they switch. Yeah, they all rebound, they yes. all can clear it, they all can shoot it, they all drive it. No, you're right. That is exactly what makes them the team that they are. That's now that's 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 two out of six now. Correct. And he's gonna keep going back to yeah. it, going back to it. Uh, it gives him the too little, but he's not deviating from his game plan. No. He knows what he wants to do. It's really the only thing he can do against Nitty is take him down there and punish him. And he goes right, gets some contact, and he goes up and under, and he gives him a too little. <laughs> Timeout, Gary Payton. They're gonna talk it over. I so the, like there are some guys in this league when that stuff happens, they they take it in stride. Yeah, they yeah. just move on to the next oh, play. Oh, he's he, listen. Corey Brewer is not gonna get upset about. Somebody talking trash to him. Yeah. Matter of fact, he likes it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, a lot of times when you get out you know, playing professional, you miss that. Oh. You miss that camaraderie. 100%. Like, you know, some of these games are not like that when you're outside of this. But you get, you know, people watching and it's, uh, it's a big deal. One of the keys of the game is going to be the way Brewer is going to take Nitty down low. It's a battle that is going to probably even heat up more. That's a tough shot. If Nitty can make him take those kind of shots, he's got a chance. Of course, and Nitty going right back at him. Both of them give the baby. He's too little. That would be like me posting you up. <laughs> but it's all good. It's I mean, all good. It's all good. I expect to get hit. Yeah. We had, you know, I, I, I um, covered the Celtics, and we had sure. Luke Cornetti, 7-3. Yeah, yeah. I saw Patrick Beverly give him the too little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. it's it's what makes basketball the best sport in the world. And I know I'm, I'm you know, Jaded or biased, no, whatever. You're, but, but you're telling I the love truth. it, man. Facts. I just love, I love that side of the game. All right, in all of sports, the trash talking makes makes for most of the fun. Oh, Carlin Green, tough shot. And remember, Big Wax had. We didn't even mention Gerald Green, who can light it up like that. Yeah, give you ten points in two minutes, coming off the bench, and he's going to be checking in here. There's Nitty going left. Those are the pull-up. He sticks it. He is That's, feeling it today. That should have been a switch there. So when you were able to go to your bench and you put, you're bringing in a Gerald Green. Oh, Garland Green for four. Garland Green. Great job. Javier Carter coming over to help. Look at Garland Green. Like you said before, he's a perfect fit for their team. He is. When you look at the defense, and, you know, listen, look at the size they out there now. They're all still relatively all the same size. And that, that makes this team very difficult. I'm, I'm a little biased. You know, I started off coaching Bivouac. Mm -hmm. Then I moved over to three-headed monsters. So I'm, I'm a little biased. I, I, I like seeing Bivouac do well. Man, Frank Nitty is on fire. You know, you know the biggest question I ever got about coaching bivouac. Tell me, what is a bivouac? <laughs> it's an, it's an ant, right? <laughs> yeah. What is a bivouac? Yeah. Oh, good finish, Jalen Johnson with the left. And that's gonna send us to the half. Frank Nitty, 12 points, but the story is a bivouac. And the way that these guys have been eating it up from the outside, Garland Green. Four-pointer, finishing at the rim. This team has got a great rhythm. They know how to play with each other. And you can even watch their body language on the bench over there. They're all pushing each other. They're talking to each other. There's a lot of camaraderie going on. Yeah. They got one of the fiery, most fiery coaches in the, in the league over there, Correct. too. So he's going to let them know how he feels about it. Yeah, let's go to Rachel with Corey Brewer. You guys are fired up on the bench right now. What's the talk? What's going on? Just keep up by aggressiveness and keep playing the way we're playing. You know, Frank needs making some shots. Hey, we'll live with that. And he's going to have to beat us tonight because we're going to keep going at him. I saw the two small going back and forth. Oh, yeah, come on. I feel like I got I like my, I like my matchup. I like my matchup. Overall, you guys look unstoppable. You're shooting from the outside. You're taking it in. Your defense looks solid. What do you guys need to do to make this win and continue on? Score 25 more points, and we got to do it right now. Easy money. Thank you. <laughs> he likes his matchup. <laughs> Reggie likes that matchup, too.
All right, so we got one down, one to go. Bivouac coming out hot. Frank Nitty, 12 of the 14. We'll see what happens in the second half. All right, welcome back. Bivouac's playing well, 25-14. Brian Scalabrini, Reggie Diaz here. Let's just start out with Bivouac. I like, I, I like my matchup. You like, you like your matchup. <laughs> Tell me about this matchup. Well, you, you know he came in the game thinking he had an advantage in, in, inside, so he's been taking him down there every time. He's got eight points right now, but there, he's, he's, his package is, I got to get it down there, and I got to get to buckets, and I got to get to free throw line. Green, on the other hand, he's got 12 points, made a four-pointer. He can shoot the ball from, from all over. Plays with great pace. As you said, he's got great stamina. That's a long jumper there. Yeah, Garland Green, and you know what? He never takes a defensive possession off. Bivouacs have it rolling right now. Should mention Frank Nitty. He's got 12 of the 14 points for this team. Dominic Johnson, big-time shooter. Nitty for three, and he's feeling it today. See, that should be an automatic switch. There yeah. should be no space in that. But they're letting Nitty shoot. I don't know. At what point does a coach say, all right, enough is enough. This guy's got it going tonight. Well, because you're more worried about him driving by you than you are his jump. Correct. Yeah, I got that. When I picked this team, it's because of my respect for Frank Nitty. I just think that he's tough to stop. Yeah. Jalen Johnson loses the ball. Dante Green picks it up. Nitty, they give him, they give him the three again. That's short. Brewer with the rebound. See, the idea is to keep him peri perimeter. Over the top. Brewer again. I like, I like my match. I like my matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good stuff from Rachel Demita getting that getting that one liner. I like my matchup. I can go viral. <laughs> Start thinking about why he likes his matchup because he's got he's got four inches on him. Takes his time. Uses his glass like an old veteran. Those are tough shots. It's tough. But but he's got the advantage. You can see right now they're they're going to keep force feed him. Yeah. You know you got to you got to go where the money is. Yeah, you called that right from the start. Like you could just tell that they were saying I'm one thing at, we're going to do. Eyes. We're going at this guy yeah. all game. You can look in his face and yeah. tell that's what he wants. What he's going to do. Yeah, I like the way that uh, Nitty has responded as well. He's playing well offensively. If you notice, Corey doesn't get sped up either, so he's going to take his time. Cheryl Green, it's off. Good battle on the boards. I don't think Brewers came out, come out of the game yet. Might be time to give a little bit of a break. Might, going might, hard. Be, might be smart to do. He's gonna, you know, you never know what happened toward the end. Good late clear. Gerald Green. Whew. He misses. Dante Green goes up, gets blocked by Brewer. There's that positional size you were talking about earlier. Brewer, there's that spin move he does. Short, I think he needs a break. Yeah, no, it, yeah, it would be a good Garland time to Green, get him a break. Yeah. There's Nitty. Nitty might be tired as well. Dante Green, three, back rim. Dominic Johnson, back to Green. He's tired. See, he's got his hands down the whole time, never bodied up. Yeah, these guys are going at it yeah, right now. Bit, you can use a timeout and a, and, a, uh, and a sub. Yeah, Garland Green is at the scorer's table. Oh, that's not a good pass. Oh, but what a good finish. Yeah, Gary Payton not happy with that play at all. Johnson kind of waving. Gary off like that. that nothing upset to coach more than a guy player waving him off. Ooh, over the top, no good. See, that was a little bit of a, a tired shot. It, it did look like that. It, looked, it didn't look like the same shot we've the seen before. Shot. Yeah, tired shot. All right, it's a big moment. Man, the hour. Brewer going out. Smart move. Yeah, smart move. And Javier Carter is back in. I'm telling you, if you. If you know basketball and you watch him, he's as solid as they get in this mm -hmm. league. It's a big part of why they're a 3-0. Oh, it's, it's a hook. Yeah, they're going to get a foul on that one. There's offensive foul. Pretty easy foul. As he baseline steps, see his off arm catches him in the back. It's easy hook. Easy for a ref to call that one. 
Jones. Aaron Jones, like a, he's like a YouTube star. Turns the corner, gets that contact, misses. Javier Carter gets it back. What I say? <laughs> I like my matchup. <laughs> he's solid, man. I'm telling you. If you, if you watch big man in yeah. basketball, like he's as solid as it gets. He's got that big barrel chest. Yep, and he just goes at his pace. Never gets sped up. Got long arms, rebounds well. Yeah, he does have long arms, that is for sure. There's Jones for three. Short. Garland Green. I guarantee he's never tired. Garland Green going left. Dribbles off his foot. There's just five on the clock. He's got to go quick. Kicks downhill, throws it up. Oh, and there's a foul. Forced it. And nothing irks the coach more than a late foul with two seconds on the clock. You are correct. You are correct. And a, and a swipe at the ball at the same time. Gary Chances Payton. of him making that, pat, making that shot was going to be very slim. Gary Payton urging his team, move the ball, move the ball, keep moving the ball. Well, when you look at the top of the league, the top of the league moves the ball. Oh, yes, they do. When you look at the top of the league, top of the league moves the ball, spaces the floor, and then, and then they drive it. They get their jumpers off the drive. Johnson downhill, Javier Carter over the top. Nice job by Dominic Johnson. Speed. Yeah. Nice speed. Similar to a Jody Meeks who we just saw yes. score 21. Yes. Carlin Green, top. Gotta go set that pick. Javier Carter. Johnson with the rebound. He clears it. Good strong take. Ball rolls out. Gerald Green pulls up. That's a foul for three. Joe Green. Joe Green is such a great shooter. A streaky shooter, but just a great shooter. You can see that he's stepping into that shot. He already knows what he wants to do. Not thinking twice about it. He's looking for that type of shot. Yeah, so Ger Gerald Green will shoot one, four. Oh, they're going to bring the fire. What do you think about this? Would you let him take the three ball wide I open? I, I think I'd let him take three. But you know, the thing about Gerald Green, you talked about him being streaky. What if he makes that? And next thing you know, he makes three more in a row. That's a problem. It's a wide open shot. Yeah, but you know, he can, he, he's capable. Of doing yeah. That. All right. This, this is tougher for him because he doesn't have, doesn't really have the legs for it. Yeah, he's not really built like that. Yeah. But he elevates. He can do that. Back so, so you see how he no, only no. had one dribble, two dribbles, and yeah. then he went, went, went looking for a shot. I, I played with Gerald in Boston, and it was amazing how he can get to spots and just elevate himself out of trouble. Well, he's got such a great body. He's got limp. One, one dribble kind of loses it, one dribble, and he, now he's looking for a shot. Doesn't get it one way. All right, Powell gets the catch, goes over to Dominic Johnson. Comes off the screen. Gerald Green challenges. No rim. Look at that poke oh, out. Nice, nice, Carter. Right, there's Johnson again on that pick and roll. Gets the switch. That's a foul on Carter. I was just getting ready to say it's about time for Brewer to come back in the game. Yeah. No Frank Nitty out there right now. That's okay because, you know, Corey doesn't really have that big of an advantage on Jones. Oh, they call it off black. They're going to ask to review it. And Charles Oakley says, no, no review. Inside, Carter. Oh, what a pass. That should have been a foul. Was it called? <laughs> yeah, it should have been a foul. He went underneath him. <laughs> you know, you always, you always laugh. The ball does that. The guy always lets everybody know he made the bucket. There's Johnson. Good layup. I like the way he keeps his feet active. Got quickness. A lot of quickness. And a lot of it all kind of stems from you have to guard his three. Yeah. There's Carter. Going inside back to Brewer against Dominic Johnson. Brewer's taking his time. Now he's playing at his pace. Yeah. Get to his, trying to get to oh, a spot. Good defense. Good quick hands by Dominic Johnson. So, like I said, he wasn't able to get deep enough against Johnson. Where he was taking Frank Nitty just down there where he wants. Johnson, he's not getting deep enough to get his shot off. 
thought it was pretty good defense. What do you think? Uh, you know, he, he reached too much. There's too much reaching. You reach once, you got to body up the second time. That's a trap. And Brewer gets it back, puts it in. I hate to be a broken record here, but Javier Carter with the quick <laughs> yeah, hands yeah. and the solid yeah. play. And some man over here telling put Frank Nitty back in. It does seem about time to put Nitty back in the game. And Dominic Johnson knocks it down. It's a big shot. 35-26. Oh, that's offense. Yes, it is. That's, that, that's a big fella there setting a side pick. I think it's a guard's fault because I'm a big man. Well. Good hands. A little bit of fumble of the ball, though, you know. Sometimes you just over dribble. He stepped into him, gave but him, yeah, a, chi but you gave him got, a chicken wing. You got to go. Chicken wing, though. You got to go shoulder to hip if you're a guard. Yes. Come on. But that's again, your but job. You got one job. Yeah. Shoulder to hip. But you're, telling, you're asking a guy to get over a pick? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All I'm saying is, that could be, <laughs> that's not going to happen. Josh Powell, rare it'll, miss. It'll be from nice 15. to see, but it's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's Garland Green. Goes hard to the basket. Strong right hand drive. Oh, oh, the rim. Dominic oh, Johnson. The rim. There's the pump fake. Oh, Dominic Johnson's got him back into this game. Yeah. And right there, and right there. Again, the last two or three minutes haven't been able to finish at the rim. Midwag trying to find a rhythm right now. And that all came when, when Johnson back in the game. Ooh, Javier Carter missed that one. That's not. You're right. You know, this thing did start when Dominic Johnson got in the game, and he's been holding his ground and not letting guys get into that kill box. That's a big one. Gary <laughs> Payton wants to talk it over. Dominic Johnson really getting killer threes back in this game. Fly goes by, finds another jumper. And then, of course, right here, ill-advised by Carter. Johnson, another easy basket. His him coming in the game really changed things around because of his size and his quickness. Where Nitty was not, they had a real advantage against Nitty. They don't have an advantage with Johnson in the game right so, now. So, but Nitty's having a game. Like maybe the best he's game well. he's had in, in week four. Like I'm not saying he didn't play well in the first three, but he, he's what we, the, the, he's the best of yeah. Nitty. So how do you balance that? Well, the, the, the problem is, is that he couldn't guard Brewer. I yeah. like I like my I like my matchup. But maybe Brewer is worn out by now from you know fighting that matchup early. But, you know, I, 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 but I think the Brewer is looking for him to come back in the game, not having him in the game. You got you, the game is not over. You still got a, a, a quite a bit to go. Nitty's getting a good rest down the stretch. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with the foul situation the way it is right now. I think it's it's anybody's game. And they're going with Nitty. So Dominic Johnson, I don't know how you play this. You know, it clearly changed its entire complexion of this game. You could take one of the bigs out if you had to, play double small. Yeah. Nitty can rebound, but it's not an easy decision. When you got four or five guys, you can figure things out. With three, there's tough decisions for coaches See, what when you, it comes what, to this. What you have with Dante Green? See, Dante Green's got the size. He can guard uh, Carter. So he can guard Carter, and then you can put another guard out there. All right, here we go. It's the matchup you were talking about. There's the overhelp screen by Carter. Brewer's taking his time. And good job by Nitty. Gets it back. Javier Carter. And there's a battle underneath. Physical. Super physical. <laughs> physical. Look at That's Brewer. why you and I are over here. And that's exactly why I'm over here. When you think about when you talk about big three physicality, that's what you're talking about right here. The effort-based basketball, hands, everybody going after it. This is good, clean, hard foul. Here's Josh Powell at the free throw line. Chance to cut it to a two-point game. Who would have thought? That's what he does. Big webs. Five fouls. So the next foul, they're in the bonus. 
So they got to play 15 points here without fouling. It's a 10-0 run by Killer Threes. Remember, Killer Threes 0-3, Bivouac 3-0. Oh, they're not, they missed the head-to-head -head shot. What do you think about a play like that? That basically check the player, let him take it out of bounds? I don't know. You go head-to-head? -head? I don't know. You can't, stop, you can't stop playing. No, I, I mean, I think he called the travel. I think it's fine. Yeah. Barlin Green keeps it alive, shot it well in the first half. Did not, have not shot it well in the second. It's been all killer threes in the second half. And Gary Payton wants to review this. Now, this game had a good pace to it early. When you, when you think about the mentality of both teams, 3-0, and oh, haven't won a game, you know, you got nothing to lose. Coach's ears. There you go. Anyway, but when you look at it from this angle, this one's clear. This is the one you were talking about. Yeah, the last the last yep. guy touched is Dr. Yeah. Green. Yep. For that angle, the clearest day. Right there. So a good battle. And a good call by Gary Payton. That was a, definitely a well worth the challenge. So, Bivouac has has had trouble scoring. Would you go with a Joe Green right now? Like you lose a little bit on different areas, maybe defensively, but well, in some ways, that's that's when they started going downhill. Because if Gerald's making all the shots, there's no problem. But yeah. When, when Corey Brewer went out of the game, and Frank Nitty, they brought in Johnson, and that's that's when the game changed. Yeah. The biggest problem for Bivouac, they got five five. They're getting ready to go in. Killer Three's getting ready to go into penalty. That's their biggest problem. All right, Garland Green, top of the key. Oh, seven on the clock. Goes with a step back two. Sticks it. <laughs> I don't know if you expect a foul in that. What's that? Huh? I think most players want a clean landing space. I think that's what they all expect. I'm, yeah. You don't always get that here in the big three. All right, so now you said they switch it, go inside. Can't foul. Josh Powell underneath. Ooh, ball that's rolls a, that's out. That's a good no, no foul. It's a good no foul. Brewer. Short with it. It's a tough one. Nitty. Strong. Late pass. Oh, big turnover by Nitty. Probably should have went up strong with it. Yeah, you know, when you think about Corey Bull and the way he's playing, his energy level is just infectious. You know, he, he's always played with a smile, always played with, with, with strength. He's got, a, he's got a reputation of being a defensive guy, but he's really a, a, a really great teammate. All right, that'll give him 40, 40 to 33. Killer threes right here have to make a run. Their season is on the line. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Mm. That's going to be two. A free throw for two. You're going to give up something with Frank Nitty. You got to give up the jumper. Give him a little bit of room. Gary Payton going with bringing the fire. Yeah, smart play. I like it. Even though the foul is on the floor, since they're in the penalty, yeah. and it's a shooting foul, you can bring the fire. And what a perfect way to do it. Two guys who started out talking trash to one another, they're going to square off and bring the fire. A lot of sweat right on the floor right there. You got to be careful. Here we go! All right, here we go. Nitty against Brewer. Nitty's tough to guard like this. You can see it. Brewer. Ooh, good job moving his feet. Nitty fades, and it's no good. <laughs> oh. 
You know what? That's good offense, good defense. Yeah, that, listen, yeah. that's one-on-one -on -one basketball. He, he got down low, got a lot of space and a good look. Both guys did their job in that, in that respect. All right, Gerald Green is back in. Kip Brewer, just a little bit of a break. And there it is, right there. Count back. See, that's a I can tell you thing. right from the start. The way he caught that ball, that thing was dropping. I think it's so easy to catch the ball from inside out to knock down those threes. All rhythm. Did he? Powell. That's his spot. It is. Odd that he misses. And he is so money from that spot. Green again. Drifted to the right. Javier Carter comes back with it. Oh, extra pass. Rachel, what's going on over there? Guys, I just wanted to do a quick update because we have hit 3.2 million views on go. X. Chat's wow, going wow. crazy. The fans have just been amazing this weekend, so I wanted to shout them out really quick. I know we have an intense game here. I wanted to give you guys the update. That is chat, a, that's spam, incredible. Spam chat with fire emojis if you guys hear this. Thank you for tuning in. That's amazing. 3.2 million. Cube and his team has done such an incredible yeah. job of building the brand of this, this franchise. Carter inside, a lot of hands. I don't know the call. It looks like, it looks like Killer Three's ball. Oh, that, yeah, definitely. The thing that people love about the Big Three is that it's quick. There's a lot of scoring, and the games are physical. People love physical basketball. For sure. Trash talking as oh, well. A lot. All right, Carlin Green comes up the board. Big stretch right here. A couple buckets to put this game out of reach. Carlin Green with a tough physical drive. Ooh, layup comes out. Got to finish. Got to finish. You're above the rim, you got to finish. All right, Dominic Johnson, he's back in with Nitty. We should have some space to work. Nitty for four. No good, Javier Carter. Oh, what a block. They got a foul on Nitty. Good effort. I mean, you can't you, you can't fault the effort. Better, he had he had the best look at his brick than anybody yep. on the floor, so he knew it was coming off over there. And he's and See, he is at, super fast. He's very athletic. intent on what he was doing right there. Oh, he almost got away with it. Uh, nice job by Javier Carter. Knocks it down. Both teams in penalty. This is when you got to just play smart. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. Don't yeah. overdo it. Play smart. So right now, in the, in the way the game is, you only got need five points. So, do you take do you take a jumper if you if you take a, all everything's going to the basket right now. Everything. I agree. You gotta, that's the only way you're going to make up those five points. Three on the clock. Johnson pulls up. Man, good defense, good deflection. Now you're exactly right. You should try to attack, and you, tr you should try to attack early yeah. in the shot clock. You need a, you get another shooter out there, attack the paint, find the shooter on the perimeter. There's no reason to take jumpers at this point in the game. Strategic. Green, it only takes one. I'm telling you, it only takes one for Gerald Green to get it going. There's Nitty. Dominic Johnson, oh, he misses. Nitty, off. Good rebound, Powell. That's a foul. You don't want to make that foul. Just yeah. give up the two points. And, and Dominic Johnson, Dominic Johnson doesn't really have the same effect on the game right now. Foot on the line. The referee's the got it right. Yeah, yeah they got, got it right. right right away. Joe Green did a great job. He's checking out right now. Well, Corey you know, Brewer's when coming you get back. To, when you get to that point in your career, that's your job. Mm -hmm. You come in, you hit a couple of shots, you go sit down. Yeah, got, it gave Brewer a great chance to get a get a get a break. Now they'll go back to the same scenario. You got two smalls in there. Brewer's going to take one of those guys. It's going to either be it's going to be Green or, or Brewer taking him down into the paint. Let him 
Got to give him a little room. Good kick out. Powell. Powell gets it back, shoots it again. I've never seen him miss this many 15-footers. Won a game back. Brewer, Gary, that's a walk-off. And he waves to the crowd. <laughs>